This is a quick demonstration on how to use Doctopus, Gubrick, and Google Classrooms together. So uh, the first thing you need to have is you need to have a Google Classroom that is fully functioning. So it has a, you've created it already and it has students. So for this one, I just made my demo class and um, I only have one student right now and that's um, for this one it's it's Marnie. Jen hasn't um, joined up yet but that's okay. So I have my class and that's all good to go and then what I want to do is, is I want to create a spreadsheet and uh, I want to, well you can title it whatever you want but usually whatever your assignment is or whatever the class is and then you go to add-ons and I already have Doctopus here but if you don't have Doctopus you'd go to get add-ons <coughs> and then search for Doctopus and here it is right there and then you would uh, add it on and you'd be fine but I already have it so click uh, launch Here it goes. <clears throat> it starts to work over here. Now there's two modes. There's Google Classroom mode and there's Roster mode. Um, uh, I used the Roster mode before. Google Classroom it works great. Um, and uh, for this one, though, we'll show you Google Classroom. So you're going to ingest a Google Classroom assignment. Uh, the only reason why I would I would do this is if you want the power of Gubrick to go with it. If you're not going to use the Gubrick, then really just use Google Classroom alone. So uh, I select a class, and I'm going to use my Doctopus demo. It's going to work, and then I have to have an assignment to ingest, and I have my super fake assignment one here. So it goes in, and then it does all its work here. So I'm going to ingest. There we go. So as you see, it populates all this for me. <clears throat> I have um, the name, the email, uh, the file key, file name. I just added a uh, Google Doc. Um, and it has a link to that assignment and uh, tells me all about it. So, um, but what we can do here is we can um, attach a rubric. So, Generally, your rubric has to have this sort of format, and it needs to be in a spreadsheet. So down the um, left A column here, you want your criteria. So for this is just a, a, a general one I pulled off their website. Uh, you have that, and then across you have your levels, uh, what you're going to level it as. So uh, once you're there, what you do is you attach your Gubrick and it will look through all your Google Drive to find it and um, I just I have this one already made so uh, I'll just use this and <coughs> uh, you want uh, I want to make the rubric viewable to students so they can do it and yes I'd love them to be able to uh, self and peer assess and um, Yes, I think you want, especially if you're an intermediate and, and even um, maybe five and six, send the email notification to students once it's, it, it's mailed. So you attach the rubric. <coughs> Test its magic. Oh, and it, it sent, I just noticed, it, it, Marnie just got an email, but that's okay. So when we look here, um, it has, now it's added each column that I have in my rubric. So what else you have here is you have your Gubrick link. So I can go here, click on that link within the spreadsheet, and I can mark the student's work. <clears throat> So um, I can it. so right now this one is up here in white and it's uh, for this particular one I am looking at that um, expectation. So I can go in here and look through the person's work and say yep yep okay level three. And then I can click on the next one and 
it's this expectation here and I could look through the work and yep blah 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 and go through all of them until I have a level on all their work and then after I am done that <coughs> then um, you can go in here and put comments so here uh, you could email the scores to the um, person right away or you could um, also put in comments like put written comments like um, <coughs> strength <coughs> uh, your voice definitely came out in your writing especially in your introduction and then uh, next step your work would benefit from a from uh, your work would benefit if you spent more time revising um, uh, to do this make sure you take out uh, paragraphs and sentences that are redundant <coughs> and that you add sentences and words to make it flow. Something like that. Uh, you could do that and I could also leave a little comment here for them. Great job, Marnie. Uh, I like what you did there. As I said in the written comments, uh, your voice is really coming out in your writing. Um, wow, that first sentence, uh, it was as if you were sitting right in front of me and you were, you were uh, saying what you were, you were writing. Um, <clears throat> you are uh, in a couple spots there, especially in paragraph three and four. Uh, they seem to be just repeating the, the, the same points. So you could take one of those paragraphs out or kind of take the best parts of each and make it into one. And uh, you could work on, uh, when you, re you revise, to work on your transitions. Make sure they're smooth and that uh, they're leading into the next paragraph. Good job. And then stop. It converts it to an MP3. I've actually never seen this before. I think this is pretty neat. This wasn't in last time I was using Doctopus. It's doing its work here. And once it's there, <clears throat> take a break, have a sip of coffee, change the channel on the television. I might edit this out. And while it's doing that, we can go back to here. And then there we go. Or so I want to I want I want to say the drive. I'll put in drive and sharing. <coughs> there we go. So not only is there uh, written comments, but audio comments for that person. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to email them to Marnie because why not? There we go. Score submitted. Now, when I go back to here, we should see that she has the marks in here and she has uh, the comments in here right there and how many times I have uh, marked this so that gives them the, abil the ability to um, go and uh, redo their work more than once and then you can just see as a teacher how many times you you have, have marked that one. So there you go there's Doctopus and Ubrick in a nutshell. And look at, oh that didn't come up before there's that, uh, I can check out my um, my uh, voice comments that I put on there as well.